welcome back to the Corner Faster Get Fast series. We're at Road Atlanta in the Porsche Cayman GT4, and this is laps 22, 23, and 24 out of 50 laps to get up to speed using the iRacing Simulator. Previously, we spent some time analyzing Road Atlanta, and most recently, we took a few laps to focus on getting on the brake pedal to slow down the car as efficiently as possible in each of the six brake zones around Road Atlanta. Now, it's time to focus on getting out of each of those six brake zones by getting off the pedal to turn the car into the corner. The first thing we're gonna talk about are the goals of trail braking and releasing the brake pedal. The first is to extend the brake zone into the corner. By doing that, it allows us to brake a little bit later than we would otherwise be able to without any trail braking. The second thing we're trying to do is to control the balance and weight shifting. We want to keep a little bit of weight over the front tires to increase the grip potential of the front tires relative to the rear and that causes the car to rotate which is the third goal to rotate the car into the corner especially to establish the amount of rotation that's going to be carried into and through the apex and onto the exit so with that said we achieve that by releasing the brake pedal and if we break down the brake pedal release technique, we can look at it in a few phases, just like we did when we looked at getting on the brake pedal. So the first phase of getting off the brake pedal is to ease up just a little bit of pressure immediately prior to turning in. So coming off of max threshold brake or whatever the max pedal pressure is gonna be for that particular brake zone, easing off slightly to allow just a little bit of weight, little bit of weight to shift and for the car to balance and increase potential turning cornering grip. The next thing, or the next phase of brake pedal release is going to be the turning of the wheel and progressive release of the brake pedal along with it. So we wanna get off the pedal in time with our turn and steering input. And finally, as we approach maximum steering input, we want to fully release the brake pedal. And we want that final brake release to be seamless to the point where it's difficult to tell the difference between the last moment that we still have brake lights on and the first moment that those brake lights are off. So with that said, let's back up just a little bit and take a look at six brake zones around Road Atlanta, starting with turn one. We carry a long trail brake almost all the way into the apex to help keep some weight over the nose as the track starts to fall away. For turn three, there is a bit of trail brake. When we're coming off of the turn and curb, we still carry a bit of brake. And actually it's towards the end of the turn and curb where we begin to release brake pedal pressure and start to turn in. But getting off the brake soon enough to get back on the gas just a little to get some weight off of the front right. The car bounced a little bit there, but it would have been a lot worse if I hadn't been able to get back to the throttle at all. And then similarly for the turn five brake zone, start to ease off the pedal pressure towards the end of the turn and curb and then get off the brake in time to get back on the gas before getting to the apex curb to get some weight off of the front and side. Turn six is a little bit different. It's a fast in corner, not really worried about the exit. So we're gonna carry a deep trail brake basically as much pedal pressure for as long as possible with a slow progressive turn in. 
pretty much all the way into that apex curve just prior to it. And then for turn seven, we're not going to carry the trail break nearly as long, but there is a bit of trail break just so we can balance the front and get the car rotated up the track. But see, we're off well before the apex curve and progressively feeding in the throttle all the way to the end of the apex curve. So moving up to turn 10A and 10B, the brake zone in a turn 10 sets us up for 10B, which carries on, carries us all the way through 11, 12, and on the front straight. So this is definitely the most important single point on the corner, how we get off the brake pedal, or I should say single most important point around the whole lap, how we get off the brake pedal in a turn 10A here. And we want to carry a lot of trail brake all the way into the apex and release the pedal immediately before the curb so that we don't bounce off of bounce the front tires off that curb. So watch one more time. Again, deep into the pedal pressure, into the bottom of the hill here as it bottoms out. Easing off just a little bit before turn in. And then as we turn in, bleeding off pretty quickly and getting below half, but hanging on to a bit of trail brake all the way to the apex curb. No brake, letting the car skip over the apex curb as we get right back on the gas. And then use the throttle to control rotation through 10A and 10B. So that wraps up getting off the brake pedal at Road Atlanta the goals, techniques, and a turn-by-turn -turn breakdown out of each of the six brake zones here at Road Atlanta. Stick around for the next video where we focus on getting back on the gas. Thanks for watching.